The United States military has carried out a drone strike targeting a senior leader of the Iran-backed militia Kataib Hezbollah, who is allegedly behind attacks on U.S. military bases in Iraq and Syria. The drone strike conducted in eastern Baghdad was part of the phased retaliation promised by U.S. President Joe Biden in response to the killing of three U.S. soldiers and the injury of 40 soldiers in an attack on Tower 22 base in Jordan on January 28. We've been, as I said, very clear from day one that anyone trying to use the conflict in Gaza as an excuse to expand uh, the conflict, to attack our personnel, to attack uh, shipping, uh, to um, engage in, in any form of escalation that spreads the conflict, uh, we would uh, strong Stanley against that. And uh, that's exactly what we're doing. According to the U.S. Central Command, the slain commander was directly involved in planning attacks on various U.S. military bases in the Middle East. The statement also denied any civilian casualties in the retaliatory strike. Previously, Kataib Hezbollah Secretary General Abu Hussein al-Hamidawi had stated that the group would cease attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East following the January 8 attack on the U.S. tower base. The response that we've undertaken over the last few days um, is going to continue uh, and it's very important that not only do those engaged in these attacks get the message, but that they act on it by ceasing. After the militant group's attack on Tower 22, Biden had warned in a statement that America would retaliate against those who killed U.S. troops.